Yeah, it's a little mock locking mechanism I just kind of made made for a spare tire on the back of the Suzuki Samurai SJ413, Jimny 1300, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, I had an older spare tire on it. It had a lot of meat on it, though. It's pretty damn old. I might change it, though. I didn't want to put a new one on here because it had three bolts and you could just steal it. But um, I had this old uh, kryptonite lock and... It's not too bad because it's got this cover that can slide over the lock. You can see that. So it can cover it up. And if you want, you can bring it up like that. They took these off the market because they can be picked. But it'd be a lot easier to cut this cable and pick it. But the cable is more secure than the stock locking mechanism that was on here. The actual locking mechanism I had on here was broken, broke off. It would have been this thing. Um, but they're usually not too good anyway. This is a little bit stronger, but you want to put something on here because it's too easy to steal a wheel on a Jeep, even if you got a cover on it. But if you have this and they steal this, uh, you can just as easily jack the wheels up and take the damn thing off too. And actually, no matter what the hell you put on there, they can do it. Uh, even locking gas caps, you can defeat those either with a hammer and a screwdriver and turn it, or you can um, use vice grips. And break the outside, and then get 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 a grip at the inside. But the other thing I always like to do with, um, besides having a spare, of course, I actually do this on all my cars. And besides this, I even have fix a flat. But um, and also, hey babe, you know I have a spare key. I'll keep this in there. Else, it says spare key on both spare tire. So you say, where the hell's that freaking key? I'll leave it in here. In the glove box so at least I know where it's at but uh, I always like taking this too you know look at that <laughs> made in America huh you believe that there's something made in America uh, this is probably not made in America you know what the hell you buy everything made in America but um, I always have the uh, tire repair kits with me and a pressure gauge fix a flat a lot of times if you do get a uh, flat it's not like a blowout, it's a nail. And it's a slow leak. Fix a flat will get you going, man. If you don't take that nail out, or you can just pump the tire up and it'll go 20, 30 miles or something. So I always like, I keep a spare pump in every car I got, man. I keep it in the El Camino, keep it in the Sebring, keep it in the other Chevy, the compressed natural gas Chevy. Um, <laughs> but I really don't get flats, man. <laughs> But I also, I also keep a little mini bicycle pump, tire pump, on a motorcycle with fix a flat and his kit because you don't have a spare on a motorcycle. But uh, the point of this thing is you, you don't need to get nothing fancy to lock up your spare tire on a Jeep. You can just, I mean, you don't need a lock like that. You can just use an ordinary padlock. But I had this lock. And you, what you want to do, too, is in here. You want to grease that up like that's already got a lot of grease in it because you don't want to get that screwed up you want to have this all oiled up because it's exposed to the weather i'll probably put a cover over this anyway but the one thing i like about this lock though it's got this plastic cover so the water's not going to get running into here all the time if it rains so that's another good thing but you know this is actually a little bit better than the standard locks they put on these you know they'll put these little bullshit locks on here you could break those so, um, definitely want to do that. Cost you a few bucks. Um, I'm not using any expensive tires. You can see that. But a lot of times on four-wheel drives, and these tires can run you some money, man. So, you definitely want to lock them up. And you definitely want to have a pump. Either an air compressor on board or a hand pump like that. These hand pumps work pretty good. They work pretty good. You might have to pump them about 100 times, but they work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, a couple bucks here and there might save you a lot of bucks later on. That's the whole point.